statement and then ask, answer a few questions. We don't consider this a formal press conference, and we'll have to cut it quite short. I have had this morning um, very useful discussions uh, with the foreign minister and with the prime minister. Uh, we covered all the outstanding issues uh, in southern Africa, and we discussed, in addition, uh, U.S.-Zimbabwe bilateral relations. Um, and on our side, we found this most informative and a most useful exchange of views. I would say further that uh, both sides indicated their strong desire to continue the good relations that we have between our two countries. We, uh, we agreed that we have such relations now, and we agreed that we would like to uh, do everything we can to retain them. Um, so this has been a, a most useful experience for us. We now go on to other states among the front line, South Africa, and then further north uh, to see additional countries before returning to London and uh, Washington. I'll take any questions you have, at least a few questions. Dr. Drucker, there's a few questions I'm sure you saw in the editorial. And I think it's usually very common in foreign policy in Africa concerning the Soviet Union and this question. Can you give us a kind of an outline of what you mean to say? Well, the statement that we have no interest in the expansion of Soviet presence anywhere in the world is a statement of fact. Uh, the question of how you, how you implement a policy on the basis of that, and what means you have available, obviously depends on a case-by-case -case analysis of the given situation you're talking about. Well, what about the case of the expansion of Soviet influence during those uh, organizations, such as uh, a political party, on the one hand, which is a local, uh, local party, a nationalist party, uh, which may use Marxist-Leninist terminology on the one hand and the Soviet Union and its military allies on the other. We make an important distinction between those two. What do you mean? Are you saying Swap was not necessarily a Soviet-funded uh, or Soviet-assisted uh, uh, entity? Well, there's no question that uh, Swapo is, is uh, supported by the Soviets and their friends at present. But I think it would be uh, an oversimplification to assume that that by itself accounts for what Swapo does or what Swapo would do um, were it to win an election. One other thing, other people would ask questions, but would you see any black leaders in, when you visit Pretoria? Uh, I'm visiting South Africa uh, in the immediate context of Namibia, and will be talking uh, to the government of South Africa uh, in my short stay there. Dr. Uh, Dr. No, we came to talk to government. Dr. Crocker, the leaders you so far have spoken with expressed to you directly their anxiety as reported in various publications. <laughs> and, uh, uh, I think uh, all the people we have spoken with in the various countries have indicated their views. We've had uh, a very full exchange. We've said what was on our mind, and they said what was on theirs. And they said to you that they disagreed profoundly with uh, President Reagan's statement about South Africa. Some African leaders have expressed some concerns. Uh, we, have, we have made very clear what our position is. And uh, I would simply say that in many cases, uh, it has been useful to have this discussion so people have a clear idea of where we are, where what we are. What is that clear position that they asked you to bring to It's been said many times before. I'm not going to repeat what President Reagan himself has said on a number of occasions. His position is my position. The appropriate time comes for a full treatment of American policy towards Southern Africa. There will be answers to all these questions. I wouldn't at this time go beyond what is already in the public record. One more question. Dr. Crocker, what do you think is uh, the particular significance of Zimbabwe as regards the United States in Southern Africa? Is there, does it play a significant role? Well, I believe uh, uh, that all the countries in the region must be considered important. This one uh, happens to have obviously a strong economy relative to many of its neighbors. Um, it has a great deal of, of developmental promise. Um, it has an atmosphere of reconciliation and tolerance, which obviously must please us. Um, in that sense, we would like to see the Zimbabwe experiment succeed. Thank you very much. In uh, contrast to South Africa,